There are only two ways that I have my air freshener. One is straight out of the can. Why? Why are you drinking that? What is it, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, hold on, one second, I'll be right back. Alright, today in this video, um, well, today we're going to be watching top three strange addictions. If you guys want to watch the original video, it'll be in the description down below with the rest of my um, videos. Also, my first reaction video. Alright, guys. Thank you. And also, consider subscribing. Become a member. Um, and join the top four TV squad. Alright, let's get started. My name is Shannon. I'm 20 years old. And I'm addicted to drinking gasoline. No! No! Don't. I can't why are you drinking go a day sleep? without it. No, don't drink it. Like no. I crave it. No, no. I no. How, need how it. Are you not dead? I'll wake up, no. go to the washroom, and drink the gas. If I go out somewhere, I'll put it in a small water bottle. When I fill up my car, I'll put it all over my hand. I do it before I go to bed. It consumes your life. No! One year ago, Shannon developed a deadly addiction to drinking gasoline. Why are you drinking gasoline? Since then, she's gone from no. tasting the toxic liquid on her fingers to taking swigs of it every day. It tastes like sweet and sour, like a tangy sauce. How it is it sweet? At first, How is it gasoline? It burns the back of my throat. How is gasoline sweet? No, you, you just don't drink that. Even though it, it hurts me, it makes me feel good. When I first found out Shannon drank gasoline, I didn't believe it. But when I smelt it on her breath, more or less confirmed. Today, her family has decided it's time to intervene before it's too late. We're all here. We want her to get help now, like right now. There's no tomorrow. She needs to do it now. Hi. I just want you to sit down, please. Okay, well, we brought you here tonight because we want to talk to you about your gasoline issues that you're having and mm -hmm. we want you to get help. Okay. Because we love you, Shannon. I know. Um, obviously, you should have. Can I been... ask you one question? What? I just want to know why. Why, why are you. I think we all know, want to know why. Why are you get drinking gasoline, and how are you not dead? I'm gonna edit that out. You doing this? How does it make you feel? I feel numb, and I just don't feel any pain. And I know it hurts me, but yet I keep doing it because I'm addicted to it. Have you ever read up on it? What it can do to you? Have you ever looked into it? No. I don't want to know. You know why you need to know? Your body, you can't digest gas. It attacks your organs, your liver. And the worst part is if it gets into your lungs. If it gets into your lungs, you're dead. Do you want that, Shannon? No. With you doing something like this so extreme, damaging your body, I don't understand. I don't. When you're harming yourself, it makes me feel that it's my fault. And you doing this you to yourself something. is killing me. I mean, like, I, I can't even describe how much I love you, Shannon. And I don't know. I just don't want to see you go from gasoline. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. You're doing it with the car? What? No, no. Why are you kissing the car? Sight. 
his body why are you and his under interior the car? and everything just together just seemed to no. fit. And I just felt an instant that connection. That is not okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing it with the car? And why are you dating the car? Are you all in crack? <laughs> We're going to edit that out. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here and just kind Why of caress him down the side. Why is it a dude's name? My initial reaction was I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird because it was just hard to understand. Are you... Not to be... What do you do at night with it? Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way huh? I do. What are but you doing? I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good time together. He likes a lot of the same music I do. We have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ariel Speedwagon. It is not I do get you how you'd buy something for how your you? fiance or your wife. And then usually for his birthday, I try to do something special for him too. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Just lean against him no. a little and just be no. with him mainly. Why are you at a no point? No. There are only two ways that I have my air freshener. One is straight out of the can. Why? Why are you drinking that? Is that for breeze? The can has to be extremely cold. I what make my that? tongue into a bowl so it'll catch it. Or it has to go over crushed ice. So we just spray it over the ice. No! And then you just eat it from there. No! There's a feeling when I eat it, it's a sense of completion. Like I have found it. That craving is gone. It's okay now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I have two boys. One's eight and one is two. I try not to let my kids see me use the air freshener just because I don't want it's them to obtain that habit as well. And I know it's not good for me, so I don't want them to follow that it's way. My kids are my own. If you know it's not good for you, then why are you doing it? Really? Really? All. And if they picked up this habit, that's when I'll stop. <laughs> I work at a... So you're telling me if your kids pick up this habit, then you'll stop. Kids, do your magic. Furniture store. I do use air freshener public? at work no matter what time. Whether I'm opening the store, closing the store, or finishing up a sale, I will have it there. My employee, Evelyn, is a rock star at her job, oh. but has a very strange addiction to air fresheners. Evelyn's addiction oh. to air freshener doesn't really hinder her work performance that I've ever seen. On the average day, Evelyn sprays anywhere from three to six times a day that I hear. There are days when I see stress levels go up. Six times a day you spray it? How are you not dead? Explain. I want logic. No, not logic, you know. <laughs> no, we're not rapping you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that it sounds like an air freshener factory in the background. Hey, Evie. Yes. It's an I want to get the piece to match the one right over here. OK. In Evelyn's role as a sales manager, part of what she does on the floor is always make sure the showroom floor looks meticulously perfect. I have to go around the entire yeah. store and make sure everything is in order. Business. I'm real particular. Business. I think my OCD kicks in. From Makes plants sense. to living rooms themselves, when we do the bedroom sets like I'm doing now, we make sure it's like someone's home. Everything is angled correctly. My air freshener, it's hidden in certain compartments at work. You're hiding it? You're hiding it from your boss? By the cash registers so where I'm it? always at, that's where I have it. Why? And at my desk, Why of course, you... it's got to be on hand. I'm beating my... As long as she get an air freshener, it's a good day at work. So, 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 so what you're telling me is, in order for you to have a good day, you have to have an air freshener. No. Dude, I should be used to it right now, but I am not. I can't do it. Every now and then they'll go, oh my god, what are you doing? But for the most part, they're cool with it. 
Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below, like I said in the beginning of the video. And also, share this with your friends and consider, like I said, subscribe and become a member, please. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> yeah, help. I'm trying to help the community, like I said, if you guys wrote my recent description. Um, because, you know, whatever going on, we need it. We need people like, you know, you know what I mean. Anyways guys, thank you again. And see you, dudes, Tuesday.